So today's Golf Fitness 5 and 5 is all about the shoulder blades or the scapula uh, and we've got five exercises you can do at home with no, uh, no weight, no resistance bands uh, and I'll show you a few progressions with the resistance bands if you have them. Okay, I've got the golf loop and then the uh, golf band. Okay, here they are. So we've got one is T's and W's. So uh, this exercise is actually three exercises in one. Uh, I'll show you in golf posture. So you can do it in golf posture, but you can also do it in crying, so lying on your chest as well. Uh, and then I'll show you a progression with the bands. So wise, basically we'll take the golf posture. Okay, thumbs up into a wide position, keeping good golf posture throughout. So wise, okay, from the front. We got T's this time. So again, golf posture, we're gonna rotate our thumbs outwards, our arms, our shoulders outwards as we come back into a T, putting the shoulder blades together. And keep the arms straight throughout, so from the front, thumbs rotating backwards, and then W's, we're going to come into this ready like position in our golf posture, arms out in front, we're going to come outwards, and then down, and come back, out, and elbows down. Rotate outwards and then elbows down towards the sides. So, do this from the floor. So, I'll show you a couple of reps from the floor as well. So, wise, keeping the head down, T's, same again, rotating the arms outwards and then W's back up and elbows down. Alternatively, we'll progression, uh, you can use the band. Okay, so we can add a little bit of resistance to so the wise, we're having our arms too far apart, so grab probably about shoulder width apart. You can go thumbs inwards and then turn it outwards. So we've already got a bit of resistance as we're turning our arms into external rotation. So then coming up overhead, pulling out on the band at the same time as we're lifting uh, up overhead into our wide position. T's. So this time we're gonna start with our hands uh, turned up, so we're into external rotation already in the shoulder, and then we're going to pull outwards, pull and squeeze in between the shoulder blades, and W's, exactly the same hands down this time, okay, in our ready position. Next is no monies. Um, so with no resistance band, you just want your elbows resting lightly by the side, small little gap in between, uh, just to fit your hand if you need to. Uh, and then we're going to do hands facing up, we're going to rotate our arms outwards, and then back in again okay, as you rotate your arms outwards, you squeeze them between the shoulder blades, and come back into the middle. Okay, just to make this a little bit harder, uh, we can use the resistance band. I can then do exactly the same thing. Again, squeezing between the shoulder blades as we come backwards. You can also do this in golf posture, either with the band or without the band. You can work on one at a time. Next up is the push-up plus or scat push-up. So we're going to our push-up position, okay? Uh, and all we're gonna do is protract and retract our shoulder blades. Okay, keeping the elbows as straight as we can. So. so that's a little challenge for me. You can do it from your knees uh, in like a uh, easier push-up position. And do exactly the same motion. Next up is the wall angel. Okay, so you can either do this then on your on the ground um, or up against the wall. So I'll show you against the wall. So feet about six inches away. We're gonna try and flatten our back to the wall so stomach lightly braced. Knees can be bent a tiny bit. We're coming to this 90-90 position and try and get our wrists flat against the wall, okay? Or as close to your, as close to your wrist as flat as possible as we can, okay? So all the back against the wall, wrists against the wall, okay? If you're struggling to get into this position, okay, just hold it there, that's the exercise for you. If you're in this position, then all you're gonna do is run your hands up the wall, keeping your wrists stuck to. Good, touch your hands together and then elbows all the way down to the sides at the bottom and repeat. Okay. 
from the floor. Exactly the same thing, okay? But you're going to bring your knees up toward your chest to flatten your back. Then get into this position, wrists against the floor, elbows against the floor, and then run your hands up and then down. Lastly, you're going to do a wall slide. So we're going to come up to the wall, elbows, forearms, pressing against the wall. We're just going to put one step, one foot backwards, just so we can keep a nice core and not go into an extension movement uh, pattern. So pressing against the wall, side of your hands, forearms, you're going to run your hands up the wall. And then down, still pressing into the wall. And repeat. Pushing into the wall. Okay, slightly harder version then. We can add this uh, the golf band loop. I'm going to just push my hands against the wall and putting out on the band. Okay, so similar position, pulling out on the band, pressing into the wall with my hands, running up the wall. Still pressing in on the way back down. 